This is no ordinary print job. It's turning spools of regular PVC plastic into figurines of buildings and creatures. The process is done by a machine called a 3D printer. There's one housed at Durham College. Greg Murphy, Dean of the School of Media, Art, and Design, explains the possibilities of such a device. They could create a digital version of what they wanted and then mock it up using a machine. So what this machine does, it takes what you imagine and what you can put into software, you can draw into software, and it creates a physical object so that you don't have to explain to somebody what it would look like if it was an object. You can simply print it out. That's what a 3D printer does. Greg goes on to say how designers can use printers to make a scale model of a building so clients can see what it will look like even before ground is broken. The process begins with an idea that is then made in a modeling software on computers. Students in the Fine Arts program at DC are taught the fundamentals by Greg Phillips. He teaches them 3D modeling and rapid prototyping, essential to the 3D printer, and his students are among the first to play with the new toy. I'm teaching a group of students who have never really done a lot, um, anything with 3D software before, um, and using free software so they don't have to worry about the costs of getting licenses, and um, starting with 3D sculpting, moving into precision modeling, and later on a combination of the two, I'm teaching them how to um, realize uh, models that they may not have thought of possible with their uh, previous skill set or their previous uh, tools um, that they had available to them. Another key player behind the scenes is Darren Fisher, the technical support specialist at DC. He explains the innovative way in which the mini fridge size contraption makes the models the students work so hard on. You print 3D. It is a FDM modeling uh, rapid prototyper. FDM stands for Fused Deposition Modeling. So what that really means is it's squirting liquid ABS plastic out of essentially a cake decorating nozzle. But that's overly simplified. But uh, very, it does so very accurately and one ten thousandth of an inch at a time. All these machines make it difficult to keep up with technology. Some people believe technology is evolving too fast for us. Greg and Darren are a little skeptical of that fact and believe we know how to handle evolving tech properly. But I, when I talk to people, a lot of them are afraid that uh, 3D printing is somehow displacing the role of the hand or the role of the of traditional fabrication in, in this sort of uh, field. But um, what I, what, one of the ways that I... Um, trying to encourage my students is to show them that this doesn't displace um, your ability to draw or paint or, um, or your ability to make something out of uh, precious metal. I wouldn't really say it's evolving too fast. Uh, rapid prototyping technology has been around for about 20 years already. It's only recently that it's became affordable for smaller scale institutions and even individuals for that matter to uh, to purchase the equipment and pr produce their own models. Just like any other science or technology out there, it, things can be used for good or evil. Whether these machines are used for nefarious purposes remains to be seen. One thing's for sure, they're changing the world one print job at a time. For The Water Buffalo, I'm Jesse Lyle.